When we start earning money, we want to grow rich fast. Well, leave aside the corrupt practices, but you must have seen that many people starting at the same point as far as their financial earnings are concerned. But then after a gap of 20-30 years, they are at different levels. So what is that which can be done so that with the fair means we grow rich? Today in this video, I am going to talk about simple five steps which you can take and which can put in your mind so that with happiness you grow rich fast. This is Mind Guide and I am your Mind Guide BCN. So the first step is use your brains. Generally, we work with emotions. It's so natural that when we are studying and we are a student, we do not have much money with us. But we long for many things and we feel that when we start earning, we will have a good house or a luxury car or that kind of asset or this kind of asset. More so with the social media, FOMO effect, our friends and relatives putting pictures of the way they are going about their life, their assets, the way they are going to luxury hotels and spending money. We feel we'll immediately do that whenever we start earning. So that is an emotional act. So what I would say in the first step is use your brains. Using your brains means always thinking what this will bring you. And for this, you require another thing. And that is step number two, financial literacy. Unfortunately, in our schools, we are never taught financial literacy in practical terms. Now, to make it simple, I would say the financial literacy includes three things, planning, budgeting, and investing. You must understand how you pay your bills, not by borrowing, but by planning in a manner where you spend as per your money earned per month. You can also do one thing. You can put money and invest money in your financial literacy. Maybe you purchase books, keep a mentor, do a good online courses where you learn that how you will be financially prudent and wise enough to use your money to grow rich. You have to leverage three things with you. Your age is with you, your talents are with you, and your habits are with you. Now with the money, you can leverage these three things to reach at the far-sighted goals which you create for your life. So this is very important and this is the real financial literacy which you need to know. The third step which I'll say is KSA. Knowledge, skill and abilities. They are the three things in which you must invest. If you gain, keep gaining knowledge, if you keep increasing your skills and increasing your abilities. Now, these are some of the assets which cannot be lost and they will always pay you whole your life. Maybe what will happen that your one source of income will become four sources of income and the money which you have put in these things will start earning money for you. A passive income manifold will be start generating out of the assets which you create. The fourth step is understanding asset and liability. Now you would very easily say that everybody knows what is asset and what is liability. But in the balance sheet, you know, you may not be able to read balance sheet, but do understand what is an asset. An asset is something where you put your money and that asset starts generating a passive income for you. You are not doing anything. And liability is something which eats your money. The debts which you create. For example, the credit cards. The culture of credit card, these companies to earn their money have created a culture of credit card. Now, what you do, you, in fact, in your life also, you do hard work so that you create a career. In case of credit card, what happens? Suppose you want to purchase a big camera or a luxury car. They say you take it. You don't have money, but you take it and you create a debt which you keep paying. So always, I'd say, 
put money when you have money in your account maybe use credit card but then you must have the money in your account so that you repay it at the right time and it does not create start creating 18% interest over it that is very important have it mentality use your brains to create asset and to understand that what is as asset and what is a liability and don't create debt and liabilities the fifth thing i would say is reduce your debt and increase your asset that means that in the a time when you were getting education maybe you had certain loans or mortgages or something pay it off first let that burden not remain the debt don't not remain over there increase your savings and invest that that is one mantra which you can keep always with you and put that savings in a place which becomes your passive income so if you follow these five steps you can grow rich fast in nutshell i'd say three things you need dcp remember that way d is discipline c is commitment and p is patience if you have discipline commitment and patience you will grow rich with the assets whatever you have using your brains friends if you like my video do share and like it subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you in next video till then bye bye